there is anybody that is just like me or maybe you're just tired of where you are staying it might not even be nigeria it might be you know, somewhere else and you're thinking of where to relocate to and this idea of kotonu just pop into your head and you're thinking how do i do this i don't know anybody how do i go about it what do i do where do i start from i want to let you know that you are not alone i've been there too and here i am today hi everyone welcome back to the channel and it's good to have you here hi remain koi your favorite nigerian girl Ibele. <laughs> today i'll be sharing with you how i relocated from nigeria to kotonu Bene republic and also some tips on how i go about my relocation process and how i just <laughs> i find myself in Kotonou. So you want to make sure you watch this video to the end so that you don't miss any of the info. So let's get right into it. First, let me do a quick intro. My name is Olani Yoyi Kosala and I am from Oyo State, Nigeria. I have been living in Kotonou Benue Republic since 2021, basically 2021 December. It all started in August 2021. That was when I first conceived the plan of relocating to Kotonou. But then, I basically do not know anybody here. I don't have an idea of what the rent is at that point in time. You know, what the cost of living is. So, I decided to make a trip down to this place. I've been in Kotonou before. I've spent some time there before. And that was how I get to know this place in the first place. If, I, if not for that, maybe I wouldn't have even thought of Kotonou at all. Because I'll have no idea of what this place looks like. And trying to look online, everything to get proper info and all details for someone that have been here, living here. I couldn't see any. So I made this trip. I come down to this place. That was in September 2021. It was me and my friend. But I remember that where I was staying, the first time that I came, I know someone that is very popular in that area, that is, you know, arena and everything. So I remember his name and I still remember this area. When I came here, it was the first person that I went to look for. I don't have any other contacts in this place. Even that day, if I didn't see him, that's it. Like, I would just be, you know, basing on word of mouth, maybe just going about asking people, Ma, this, 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 this. and nobody will even give me attention like that. And also, remember, the language barrier to is there. So, my mind was so fixed on this person that I just pray I get to see this person, then, you know, just pick it up from there. When I got to Kotonu, I went to the place. Fortunately for me, I was able to see him. I told him my plans. I was like, oh, why do you want to live in Nigeria? This, this, this. And I just told him I should just leave that part. Like, I want to relocate. How do I do this? How do I do that? Blah, 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 blah. No. So he explained everything to me. Because what I was so much concerned about was the cost of rent, cost of living. As a lot changed compared to the time that was here before, to see how I can plan myself properly and not come here to suffer as everybody was projecting <laughs> you understand me so i know there is a possibility if i did not plan away that when i got here i'm really going to suffer a lot they explained everything to me the cost of rent has not actually really changed like that but never has depreciated the first time that i ever came to Benin republic the exchange rate there was a thousand naira to one thousand six hundred sefa but in 2021 when i traveled down to kotonu it was 1000 to 1000 1000 to 1000 so far so things have changed there is no nera bugain again at all so after getting all the details i traveled back to nigeria and i started making my plans i started selling my things in my house like fridge everything then i packed the things that i know that i can pack guys i packed I just packed the things that I know I have at home before and I will still need when I get here. Because if I should calculate the amount that I'm going to spend to get these things back when I get to this place, it's too much. And I don't think I can afford it at that point in time. I need to really save cost so as to know how to survive here for a long period of time before I can figure myself out around. I packed so many things. I packed my shoe rack. I packed mirror. Bed. <laughs> people that saw me when i was parking even the cab driver that took me from ibadot to badagri was like auntie what happened are they pushing you you're not coming back again i told him yeah i'm not coming back again i'm relocating i get enough food stores that is going to last me for at least like three or four months i get 
packs of noodles i guess spaghetti gary and everything and then food stuff are not as expensive as it is right now i started doing all these things when i go back to nigeria buying food stuff today i will buy gary tomorrow i buy rice next tomorrow i buy I just started doing small 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 since i've already decided that i'll be living in december when the rent of the house i was staying in the battle then we expire i already organized for a cab that is going to take me from my house to badagri i've negotiated with an immigration officer that is going to take me when the cab dropped me in badagri to cross the border because of my load i cannot be doing from one bus to this it was much i negotiated price with them the one that took me from ibadan to badagri collected thirty thousand. the immigration officer that took me from badagri to cross the border collected i think twenty thousand or so as forward to december 2021 everything went as planned i woke up in the morning called the sienna driver he came to my place to pack everything then en route to badagri from badagri the guy picked me up and crossed the border but before then i didn't talk about how i arranged where i was going to stay when i was making my plan i was unable to get an apartment down here for me to enter when i bring my stores because the when you want to get apartments here it's always good for you to be on ground already or for you to have someone that you trusted that is reliable that can actually pick an apartment or a place that is very good for your taste to book it down for you like the person will take their time to look for it like go with agent and hall to look for it to get the apartment down for you so that you can move in when you get it i don't have that kind of opportunity so what i did was i just get, put the money that i want to use for rent i put it together the caution fee and everything was ready with me i even planned like three months ahead you know all my plans was Few months ahead i already have my house budget amount that i want it was 20k per month so the thing was before i embarked on the journey i tried to also use some contacts that i have someone helped me to get a student that is, is schooling here at that point in time to talk to the person that can i stay with the person till i get my own apartment you know the plan was immediately i guess i will start looking for apartment then move out to the person's place and you know just go to my place the student said that okay no problem a week later after i was introduced to the person i just chatted the person up and tell her the date that will be coming and also i told her that uh, my load is much that i have a lot of load she was like uh if the load is much that she cannot allow me to stay with her because her room is very small she said that she sent the picture of the load. i sent the picture of the load she said i cannot stay with her because this load is too much and my room is too small and i said okay no problem but he, he, she gave me an offer she said that they have one vacant apartment in that their compound is even close it's just opposite a room like this that she can help me to talk to the owner of the apartment that someone wants to come around can they allow the person to stay for like two weeks to look for houses and if the person is going to accept i said okay no problem it's fine by me I don't mind paying so she talked to the person and the person said that no that i have to pay for a month if i'm going to stay there she told me that the person said i have to pay for a month that was like um 35 000 per month with water i said okay no problem it's fine i just want to get there and you know just have a place that i'm going to put my load and everything so after the driver dropped me at the border i don't have any cab waiting for me at the bene border because i know that the place is a park i can easily just get a cab that will take me to my destination and that was what i did when i got there i got a cab the person charged me ten thousand sefa with my load as i then ten thousand sefa was still ten thousand naira i said okay no problem i bought the cab and i got there to where i was going to stay when i got there i met the lady she was very friendly she's a nigerian too and she introduced me to the owner of the apartment i paid the fee then i moved into the place but when i got to the place i don't like the place that's why i didn't stay there i'm also it's even above my budget i just decided to stay for the one month that i intended to stay starting from the following day i started looking for a house i went to the agents we started looking for a house and within the period of two weeks i was able to get a place so even before the, the months that i paid for expired in the house i had already moved out and since then i've been you know 
just doing my thing you know meeting people around blending with Benenis lifestyle culture and just enjoying this amazing city at first it was not easy i must tell you guys it got to a point i was like am i really going to <laughs> make something out of coming to this place because it was really confusing although i i never for once regretted that i left nigeria no even when i was adding my tough days in here in kotonu i never even regret that i left nigeria even up until now it has been a great journey for me i have met amazing people who has been part of my life who has really done so many good things for me you know Beninese, including nigerians who has been supportive and honestly so far so good i've been happier and um you know i just get to do the things i like and get to be around people that are loving accommodating and what more can you ask for i'm at peace here everything is comfortable when i pay for things i see what i pay for there is light there is water you know you pay your bills you get the value for what you pay for right now there is light there is security i can go out at night come back at night sometimes i even go to outside for a walk there i will still be walking around and walk to my house around 12 1 sometimes even almost 2 a.m that's when i will just walk home from jogging like just trolling around to do exercise so if there is anybody that is just like me or maybe you're just tired of where you're staying it might not even be nigeria it might be you know somewhere else and you're thinking of where to relocate to and this idea of kotonu just pop into your head and you're thinking how do i do this i don't know anybody how do i go about it what do i do where do i start from where do i you know i want to let you know that you are not alone i've been there too and here i am today if you have anything like any question that you want to know about this place you want me to do a video about it i'll always do a video i'll always enlighten you i'll always let you know you know what's up i will do that that's why that's why this channel is here yeah, to help you guys to you know know how things is here yeah, to know how to you know plan yourself thank you so much for watching this far don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on your notification bell for more content updates like this when i press them until next time stay blessed